All right, customer journey mapping and the client experience. We really want to identify every single interaction with our prospects and customers. That is before, during, and after. So how our prospects interact with us before we actually sell them something. And then, of course, after a, a sale is made, uh, and then, of course, through the delivery, service delivery. And so the first part of this is to really just from a high level, think about the before process, what's working and what's not working. So if you were to analyze your customer journey, your map, your client experience before, what's working in the lead capture phase? When an inbound lead comes in, whether it's a phone call, an email, a text message, a DM, what's working? Do you have automated follow-up systems in place? Or is that what's not working? We don't get appointment, appointment reminders to clients. You know, think about before the client meeting, you know, are your sales reps sending personalized introduction videos? Are they uh, calling ahead? asking them questions about the project, getting additional information, what's happening, what's working well. So think about the feedback that you've received from your clients and what they've highlighted. Write that down here. What is working? And then what's not working in the before phase? And then think about during. That is after you have sold a project, a contract has come in. These are just some examples of those during phases, you know, the pre-production planning, procurement, scheduling, how are we staying in contact with people during what I call the dark period? That's the period of time from after a contract is sold to selections are made to job start. Again, what's working, what's not working. And then finally, after, after you've done the project, after the installation has happened, how do you say thank you? How do you uh, execute warranty requests? How do you ask for reviews? How do you solicit referrals? How do you ensure that customers come back to you time and time again? Again, what is working and what's not working? This is step one from a very high level. Once we understand what's working and what's not working, we can then go deeper into each one of these sections and figure out how we can truly wow our customers. We can then assign initiatives to our team to help them understand why something is important. First step, getting started before, during, and after.